Hello, hello, dear viewers, friends, and all that juicy goodness. Welcome back to Ark Primal Fear. This is TBT here, and uh, today we're going to be fighting our first Tier 3 boss. Now, remember how I said that that was probably going to be, you know, uh, this guy right here? Yeah, no, it's not. <laughs> I... I did a little bit more research and I have decided that we still need to tame some more uh, Celestials for that first. But don't worry, don't worry. We're going to be fighting something today. Our first tier 3 boss will be the Demonic Reaper Empress. Now, this is going to be very interesting. Um, Demonic Reaper Empress, It's uh, before, before we summon it, I want to go over a couple things. Uh, first off, if you find yourself enjoying this video, do me a solid. Hit that like button, comment, subscribe, all that juicy goodness really does help me out, and I greatly appreciate it. What the fuck? <sighs> well, that's annoying. Um, yeah, all that juicy goodness really does help me out, and I greatly appreciate it. And don't forget to turn on notifications so that you never miss it when a new video comes out. With that out of the way, the Demonic uh, Reaper Empress is a Reaper. Which is why I have on my shoulder here... A bulb dog that I went to the aberration zone and tamed on this map. Um, that that's literally it. It is a reaper and is the subject to the same uh, resistances and weaknesses of all reapers, which is very interesting. You'd think that as a boss in Ark that would not be the case, but it is. All right, I'm gonna go kill this guy first and a couple of these things. I just want to get this crap out of the way. Dead. Oh, wonderful. We've got an Origin Rex. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go kill this thing first. Mother... Get out of here. Jeez. All the nasties be spawning today. Alright, I'm just... And Charlie is, of course, meowing as he does. I don't know why he's meowing. It's almost midnight. Go to bed for a ball. Yeah, I'll let him out in a second. Hold up. Alright, we're back. Yeah, I, I had to go look out real quick. Oh, you little... Get out of here. Let's end this quickly. I've got other... Th I've literally got other things to do. I don't have time to fight this guy. You know what? I'm gonna bring him towards the boys here. We'll cut. We'll cover them fully in a second. But I wanted to bring all my cards, my best cards, to the table for this one. All right, take it down. Bring it down! Bring it down! Oh yeah! Look at that! Oh, oh, they melt. They melt. And they just keep coming. Okay. Oh boy, all the boys have... <sighs> I do apologize for that interruption. <laughs> Basically what happens is what sometimes when Charlie uses the restroom, he... Uh, he decides to let the entire household know. Um. Oh my god. Jesus. If it ain't a boss, it's some type of corrupted nonsense out here. Good lord. Okay, we're gonna summon these guys. And bring them back over here. Okay, I think we're ready to do this. By the way, if I am not mistaken, and I could be, but I don't think I am. I'm gonna power down here. Let my stamina come back. Um, you cannot, uh, summon bosses in this mod into traps anymore. I think they patched that out. Um, I could be wrong about that, but 
I, I mean, it kind of defeats the point of the boss if you could just summon it into a trap and then take it down while it can't move. Now, one thing about this boss, um, you want to face it. I said before in the last episode that you want to fight these things with their opposite. That's wrong. You do not want to do that. You want to fight them with, like, the demonic Reaper Empress should be fought with demonic creatures. Which is why I brought out the Burninator and, um, and Pele here. Now, I have no idea whether these two will survive. I don't even know if I'm going to survive. Uh, and if I don't, oh well. You know, it is what it is. Thankfully, all these creatures are fairly easily replaceable. And, uh, we'll keep trying until we get it right. So, you know, thus the beauty of video games. And I do expect to fail with some of these bosses at least once or twice. And by fail, I mean fail to actually kill them. Um, I think dying is just going to happen. Yeah. Now, back to what I was saying. Part of the reason why you want to face the Demonic Reaper Empress with a demonic creature is that she has an ability to forcibly power down any Celestials in the area. So obviously you would not want to face her with a Celestial. That is a terrible idea. <laughs> Um, so that means no flyer, so no kiting. Now, that's a problem because she has plenty of tricks up her sleeve to really give us a hard time, which is why I'm a little bit concerned about our chances here. Now, having said that, let's, uh, let, I think it's high time we get this show on the road. So, we're gonna power up. And now, we're gonna read the instructions. Here, I'm gonna look up. Oh, well, there goes that. Okay, maybe we'll be fine. Down. By the way, when she powers up, that is a very good time to get as far away from her as you can. Holy shit. I... I'm blown away. I expected that to be a lot harder. My bulldog died instantly, and I was like, oh, we're, we're done. Uh, I didn't even have to use my... Here, let's power down. Or it will breathe fire. You know, that, that can also happen. There we go. I don't believe that. I did take some damage there, as you can see. Oh, and here we go. We've got the demonic... Uh, the demonic reaper empress tameable summon. Very, very good. Very good. Um, we also have the Demonic Reaper Empress Soul. We've got some good saddles, and we got... Oh my god. That's good. That's the good shit right there. Let's see how much damage the boys took. Well, I call them the boys, but in reality, you know... Oh my god, Burninator almost died. Now, by the way, I did uh, also farm some max-level potions. So that's part of why... Uh, they're so strong now. But it's also worth mentioning that these guys didn't have any upgraded saddles at all. Like, they just didn't. Okay, we got a nice chunk of element for that. We've got this thing. We've got, uh, Ascendant Demonic Boots. Hmm. Now, I wasn't planning on doing this today. But since we've got the extra time with the episode, we might as well, right? Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Wow, that got crazy. I think what basically happened was these two had to power up first. Oh. Man, I'm not used to my new controls here. <laughs> 
What did you get? Oh, oh, you had that. You you definitely did it. Did a good job today, Burninator. You definitely deserve a nice big, a nice long rest after that one. Let me tell you. Yeah, and these are all three of my current demonic creatures. I don't think I have any other ones. Actually, I do, but no, I don't have any good ones. Oh my god, that was that was something. Let me tell you. <laughs> and hey, we have more origin arrows, which is just just well, we're gonna be needing them. Oh, that was crazy, and it could have gone down a lot worse. <laughs> like, I think it would have been a very different ball game if I didn't have all three of them out on the field. So it's like, and remember that this is uh. Primal Fear is designed with the idea that you fight it as a group, which is part of the reason that if I do this again, I want it to be as a group effort, you know? All right, so let's take a... Oh, you know, let's just... Just to deal with that. Oh, you have an egg for me, but it is a regular dyna Dynamicus egg, and therefore not useful to me. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to... Okay, how do I do this? Aim in the air before using. All right. Oh, okay. I need demonic kibble before we summon this. Um, so I think this is the part where I cut away and I will bring us back upon having, uh, Upon having taken care of that. Alrighty, we are back. I've got my kibble, I've got my stuff, and we're ready to summon this tameable version of the boss that we just fought. Now, here's a thing that we're gonna do, and I've got this idea courtesy of a video from somebody called Storminit, and, or that I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, but you should totally go check check out that video. I'll put a link in the description in blah, in the description. Good lord, uh, that basically talks all about the um, the primal the primal reaper. I'm so what am I? Oh my god, the demonic reaper empress. Man, I need to go to sleep. I'm tired, but we're not going to bed until I finish this. Oh, okay, <clears throat> so. One of the reasons why we're doing this in the water, but before I do it in the water, we're going to just do the spam. We're going to do it in the water is that that way this thing can't burrow. That's one of the big dangers here is that this thing will uh, just go, and I'm going to tunnel underground because I can't find you. Well, yeah, that don't work out here. You, you don't get to burrow while you're in the water, so... Okay, just, just just clearing out the rabble. We're gonna ah, regain stamina, and then we're gonna do this. Oh boy, I am a little worried because I'm using my celestial RG, but it's the thing that I thought of most when I'm like, oh, let's let's just do this. Now, the other thing I could use, actually, the other thing I think I will use instead, is we're gonna hop off you. I'm gonna hit the wrong button again. Put you away. Yeah, I have my fire gripping, but I don't really trust that. So I think what we're going to do is I'm going to bring out the fallen Pegasus here. Well, maybe not. Maybe what we'll do is we'll bring out the Elder Malin since I have more than one of them. I haven't used that in a while. Mega Ultra Unicorn. All right. 
And the thing about this is that it is somewhat expendable, so I can easily replace it if uh, it dies or I do. Now, get this show on the road. Okay, we gotta look up. Uh-oh. Uh, this is not a great angle. Oop. Ah. Uh, put that away. Back it up. Try and... Gah. No, I don't want to go in the water. Okay, we got it. Yeah, it's coming for me. Not a whole lot it can do right now. It is a little worrisome if it falls unconscious, but that's fine. And down it goes. Alrighty, we don't have to worry about it drowning, which is very nice. We're going to park you right here. Oh. Well, that was almost bad. Okay, we're gonna take a calculated risk here, and we're gonna hop in the water. Very slowly. <laughs> you need three demonic kibble, yes? Yes, you need three demonic kibble, and we'd better hurry. Now, I wouldn't imagine trying to tame that thing with that 7.5 million torpor. Yeah, no, that, that's, that is not happening. Oh, you motherfucker! Bruh. Fucking get out of here! Fucking punk ass piranha. Jesus Christ. That, if that fucked up my tame, I'm gonna be pissed. Like, oh, we're. Oh no, some words will be had. I gotta surface again before we try this because I'm gonna run out of air. I'm probably gonna run out of air. No, I'm good. Actually. Yeah, screw it. Now, hopefully I don't die trying to swim up. Here, I'm just gonna potion myself. Or, maybe not. I can't even pull out my gun. Oh, cutting it close. Yeah, sorry, we gotta swim all the way back. But hey, we got ourselves the boss, and that is a proper, that's basically easy mode if you want to do it, definitely. Go give a like and give uh, give give some love to Storm in it who uh, came up with that uh, that video. That was a really cool idea. I was like, how do you tangle with this Reaper a second time? Well, you don't. If you don't want to bother trapping it, then don't trap it. Instead, just uh, throw it in the water. <laughs> As you can see, I took care to be well away from my house just in case something bad happened. But I'm going to go ahead and do this. Oh.
Alrighty, let's see what this thing can do. Starting out with eh, pretty decent stats, all, all said and done. Now, it does lose its status as a boss, but that's fine. Oh, one more thing I want to talk about here. See these nice new sandals that I got? These demonic boots? Uh, these provide heavy physical protection and infinite stamina so that I never get tired. So these are a little bit weaker than these origin pieces, but they happen to be... Uh, they happen to have a special ability in that uh, I believe you can get a full set of demonic armor. Oh my god, this thing is incredible. Let's see what kind of damage it does. Okay, not quite as much as I would have uh, would have expected, but still damn, damn good. I'm sorry, what? What, 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 what? Why did I do so much damage there? Can I jump? No. What kind of self-respecting reaper can't jump? That's disappointing. Now, this does actually count as a Reaper Queen, and you can see that from the tail. But this ain't no ordinary Reaper Queen. Now, let's left-click one more time. Okay, 54,000. That's just a bite attack. Let's right-click. Okay. Pretty weak sauce on that damage. Here. Okay, if all the thingies hit, it's ridiculous. Okay, what does C do? C is the knockback, and it creates a jet of flame around me. How about X? Okay, and now we've got the the fan blast, and that's a lot more powerful. That is that is pretty impressive. Okay, uh, and it also has that lingering fire attack. That's pretty cool. And also, I killed a drone for some reason. Killed a bunch of drones, actually. Okay, control is a fire breath? Yes. That's incredible. This is my new favorite demonic creature. As to be expected, it is a boss. All right, let's uh, let's power up and see what she can do. Now this is all unleveled, mind you. So, oh, I just love that perpetual trail of fire behind her. Be gone, son! Oh, 91,000 damage on that tail swipe. Very good, very good. How about the X? Oh, okay. Seems like with X, you gotta be a little bit more careful. Oh, we're doing 30k on that. That's very good. That is impressive as fuck. Boom! Oh, wow. Killed Fionia. Nice. Yep, 30,000 damage. Very, very impressive. May not be counted as a boss anymore, but damn it if it doesn't uh, absolutely still deserve that title to some degree. I'm going to power down now. Look how big it is, too. I, like, tower above the trees. Yeah, this is definitely much larger than a normal Reaper, but... That's to be expected. Oh, we got a demonic thorny Durgan. Let's let's give the Reaper Queen some revenge, shall we? Uh, that would be the wrong button.
God, it's so cool. All right, let's level this up and see what kind of stuff it can do. Um, here, we'll give it a large XP potion here as well. Okay, we'll just take this up to 5 mil for right now. I'll probably boost it up to 10 at some point, but that doesn't have to be, uh, have to be this second. Here, you can have some potion. Now let's see what kind of damage this does. Oh my god, it actually surpasses, and it's not even fully leveled yet. But it actually surpasses the demonic thorny dragon in raw power. Oh! Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's incredible. Instantly dealt with a demonic parasaur. That's disgusting. If I'm not mistaken, this thing now out damages its original boss form. Look at this. Boom! Just, just. I want to see what kind of burst, like, that does if you were to, like, if I stand in front of this guy right here, right? Uh, he's too short, apparently. That is, that is some crazy damage. <laughs> Look at how long that fire stays around. Holy crap. That's this. I think I have a new favorite creature. And by the way, that's all of this is still unpowered up right now. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to end off this episode, this incredible episode, by powering it. And we're going to do this. Oh, my God. I just do. I do so much damage. The, like, this is incredible. I also do uh, passive damage by simply being in my presence. I have a flame effect, as you can see. Things are catching on fire and burninating. Now, all that damage right there might not seem like a lot, but then you got to remember how, like, that's multiple shots. Oh, I got a... Did I just kill a Dodorex somewhere? <laughs> yeah, things are dying around me at, like... Just by being too close. I want to see if we can find a worthy opponent. Oh. Well. We got an origin RG right here, if you can tell. And that is that is the easiest origin kill I've ever gotten in my life. Do we have a winner for best creature so far? I think we do. And it is the Demonic Reaper Empress. 
Yep, there we go. I, I said it right. I said the thing. <laughs> But yeah, that is going to do it for today's video, and what an incredible show it was. I'm honestly blown away that we won that fight as much less as easily as we did, but I'm not going to complain. Um, yeah, like I said, incredible, incredible experience, and uh, I'm, I'm ready. I'm raring to go for the next one. Now, uh, hopefully we can get that done before our Ascendi comes out. At the very least, I can take down... I want to be able to get to the Spirit and Chaos Guardians, but we'll see. Maybe we'll take it a step further. Um, you know, you never really know, right? Uh, just it just all depends on what we got time to do. But in any event, this uh, this is TBT signing off, and I will catch you, lovely people, on the next exciting episode of Arc Primal Fear.